name is Makai, and welcome to Zyby School. Hi everyone, my name is Victor, and I'm going to be doing the nature corner for today. Proverbs says that you can learn a lot from ants. They are not lazy, they work hard to store food for the winter. They also use teamwork, no ants work alone. The weight of all the ants in the world is the same as the weight of all the humans. That's a lot of ants. The largest ant colony is 3,700 miles long. Ants from the same colony do not fight. We are all in God's colony. Let's work together and not fight. We can learn a lot from animals, so keep studying about animals. Bye! My name is Jay from Mount Zoma Church, and I'm sad that we can't see each other at Sabbath, but we are blessed to have Sabbath on live. Please join us on singing, I've Decided to Follow Jesus. Have a great Sabbath day. No matter where you're from, Jesus loves you. Join us in singing, Jesus Loves the Little Children. Jesus. 
called Coming in the Clouds. Today's memory verse is from 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 13. It says, We are looking forward to a new heaven. The message for today's story is we praise Jesus for his gift of heaven. Can you think of the best day you've ever had? The best place you've ever been? The best gift you've ever received? Heaven will be all of those things and better. Here's how Emma learned about heaven. Daddy, Mommy, and Emma were sitting on the sofa. Tell me more about Jesus, Daddy, said Emma. I want to know all about him. Tell me about when he will come again. Jesus is coming back to take us home to heaven, Daddy said. He's coming in the clouds with his angels. Will I see the angels? Emma asked. Yes, Daddy answered. When Jesus comes, everyone will see angels. You will see lots and lots of angels in the clouds. And you will see your special guardian angel who has loved you and taken care of you ever since you were born. Emma looked thoughtful. Daddy just smiled. Hmm, I wonder what my angel's name is, Emma wondered. <laughs> Daddy laughed. What else will I see in heaven, Emma asked. You will see Adam and Eve and Noah and Daniel and Esther and Mary and all of the Bible friends of God that we read stories about, Daddy answered. What else will I see? Emma asked. You will see the New Jerusalem, Daddy said. It's the place where we will live. It's more beautiful than anything we've ever seen before. Emma smiled. And what else will I see? She asked. Lots of animals. All the different kinds of animals that God created, Daddy answered. From the tiniest little bug to big, strong lions and polar bears, and none of them will hurt you. I'm glad for that, but what else will I see in heaven? Emma asked. You will see the best thing of all, Daddy said. You'll see Jesus and God. You can listen to them tell stories. You'll be able to hold Jesus' hand on walks. Maybe you can have a picnic together. Ooh, we can eat mangoes, Emma exclaimed. Emma squirmed off of Daddy's lap. She ran to the window and looked outside. Keep looking, Daddy said. Jesus will come. He promised. He always keeps his promises. Keep looking for Jesus every day. My name is Charles, and, I t and I'm doing today's craft. For today's craft, the, materi the materials you'll need are two pieces of construction paper. I have white and blue, but any kind of construction paper that you have will work. I have scissors. You might need your parents' help for the cutting part, but we'll get to that. A pencil or something to write with. or You could use a pen, but I'm using a pencil. And glue. Okay, so take one of your paper, one sheet of paper, and fold it in four. So you fold it in half, and then fold that half once more. If you open it up, you'll have four sections. Now, cut each each section. Okay, now you're going to use one section 
to draw Jesus. You can set the other three aside. For now. To draw Jesus, you're going to start with a rainbow shape. Next, you just draw a line underneath that connects the two lines. Now, draw a circle on top of the rainbow shape and draw two circles underneath to be his feet. Next, you're going to draw the arms. So you just start with a rectangle and then on the other side draw another rectangle then draw a circle now draw a mouth and then draw a mustache After you draw just the O for the eyes, draw a U shape on the top to make it look like he's looking up. And just color it and draw it in with your pencil. Okay. Next, you're going to draw his hair. All you need to do is just draw a U above, a little bit above his head and down. Then, to make it look like he really has hair, just draw a cross. Don't want to make it too thick because you're going to be coloring it later. Okay, now that you're done drawing Jesus, you're going to cut a rectangle just at the bottom. You'll need it later, so don't lose it. Now, Cut out Jesus. When you're cutting him out, you don't have to cut so close to the arms. And just glue this rectangle part down. Just glue the top. And glue Jesus' back on that part that has the glue. Set it aside. Now, take the three sheets of paper that you set aside and take one of them and fold them in half. Now, draw a cloud shape. And then, cut it when out. you're done cutting them out, you'll have two small clouds. Take the two sheets of big paper and just draw a cloud. Now, you want to make this cloud big because it's supposed to be able to cover Jesus. Now, take the scissors and cut it out. When you're done, you'll have two big clouds and two small clouds. Now, set these aside. Now, take the other piece of paper that you set aside and draw a little dot almost to the top but not yet there not yet there and just draw a line going all the way down but not all the way down draw a little circle there and then bend the bottom where the, where the little dot is and just cut
So just cut a knot right there. Then stick your scissors inside of it and cut to the dot on the top. Remember not to go all the way to the end, just go to the dot. Okay, now we're gonna be drawing a background. Since the background's gonna be hills, you're gonna wanna draw from the, if you still can see it, the, the, the part where you folded all the way to the other side. And then a little bit ways up, you're gonna draw a small hill right here connecting kind of to the big one and another small hill. Now, take one of your big clouds and glue only one of the ends. Don't glue the middle and don't glue the other side. Now, flip it over and put the glue part at the end right here and make sure to have your clouds at the top covering the line. Now, take your other big cloud and glue both sides this time, but make sure to not glue the middle. Put the glued part at the end and on top of the other cloud. Don't want, and the reason I don't want you to glue the middle is because there has to be room for Jesus to slide under. Take the small clouds and glue the, the ends. And put them just at the, just at the side, under the big clouds. Now take your other small cloud and do the same thing, but on the other side. I colored the hills green, and I also colored Jesus. You guys can color when this is done, but I'm just putting the whole entire scene together. So, what you're going to do with Jesus is put the rectangle through the slot, and you hold it with your other hand, and hold up the paper. It's supposed to be a scene of Jesus going to heaven. So, so you're going to pull Jesus up with a stick all the way into the clouds like he's going to heaven. Do you know where Jesus is today? He's in heaven, but he is coming back for all of his friends. So become one of his friends today.